hope you're all well. This is a video that's going to be done in at least two parts, if not maybe a couple more. Um, it's essentially just a bunch of unboxings, including a bunch of unboxings of um, special editions books that I've received from Fairly and Illumicrate, also my Alcrate Junior box, my Tales by Males box and my Illumicrate and Fairy Loot box may or may not be in here as well if they arrive in time when I upload it. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. I already have a stack of stuff. So I have my uh, Greenbone Saga, whoopsie. I have my, <laughs> spending too much time with Thomas. Um, I have my Greenbone Saga box here. I have, um, a, another box here from Illumicrate, not sure what's in this. I have a box here from Fairly, not sure what's in here. And then I have my Tales by Mail and also my Alcrate Junior box as well. So, let's start off with this massive box from Illumicrate, which is the Greenbone Saga, if I am correct in thinking so. If it's not, I'm going to be concerned as to where that is, because everybody else has got theirs already. <laughs> um, this came the other day. I just have not had a chance to open it yet. And I kind of wanted to wait until a couple more boxes had arrived so I could do them all together because that makes way more sense. Uh, so, let's go in. I'm trying to think now if this is the first time I've ever bought like a full set edition of books um, or whether I have done this before. And I can't remember, so I'm very excited. Oh, so pretty. That is fucking huge. Okay, so before we get into the books, there is a whole bunch of other stuff in here that I didn't realise we were getting. So, we have some bookmarks of some of the characters from the Jade... Oh, these are double-sided. Nice. From the Jade City... Well, from the Greenbone Saga series. I have read the first in this series, so... um are we gonna focus on him there we go so we have this character uh, this character uh, this character this one and this one so a nice little set there of double-sided bookmarks which i am here for we also have a nice set of jade city enamel pins as well we've got the pillar the horn and the weaver man um the weaver man is upside down <laughs> just fyi uh so yeah they're really really pretty i really like those and then we also have this which is the twice lucky jang loon souvenir plate set oh pretty so they look like this which are really pretty actually very nice indeed not sure what i would use them for but they're pretty nonetheless so not too mad about it and as always a green bone saga just little leaflet to let you know what everything is inside so going into Z books we have the first book with jade city which looks like this on the back. It says on my honor and the stenciled edges look like this. So beautiful, so, so beautiful. And it is signed by Fondly as well. Very nice indeed. I have read this one and I think I gave it four stars if i remember correctly i loved it though it was great and i'm really excited to see the series grow and the characters grow as well so this is jade war and on the back on my life and the sprayed edges and also signed by fonda lee very pretty and finally we have jade legacy which is an absolute mammoth of a book this one says on my jade on the back with the sprayed edges and also signed by fondly this book is freaking huge how did i not know this book is over 700 pages well i kind of did because i saw one in waterstones the other day but i just i don't know it obviously didn't register with me properly um so 
This is the gorgeous set from Illumicrate of the um, Greenbone Saga and this is what they look like front on. Absolutely stunning with those braid edges. I am obsessed. So excited to have a special edition set. So yeah, success for those. Then let's just stick with Illumicrate and go through this one. And in here we have... Oh, it's my copy of Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. So I got the Afterlight box, which had all the feels, which is the next book by Olivia Dade in this series. And I did have the add-on for Spoiler Alert, however, because I went through PayPal and it's a different email to my usual email set up with um, Illumicrate. It didn't end up coming in my box. So this is my copy of Spoiler Alert. Inside it says, wishing you love, joy, and your very own happy ending from Olivia Dade. And um, yeah, it just looks like this under the dust jacket, nice and yellow. And it has sprayed edges. So it will look really, really pretty with my copy of All the Fields. So I'm glad I have that and keep everything together. And then we have this one from Fairy Loot. Let's find out what book this is. I am waiting for a couple of books from Fairy Loot currently. That's not the end I wanted to open. Try this one. So I think I have King Noah the Wicked, The Prison Healer, and somewhere else, I think, maybe. Not The Prison Healer, The Prison, whatever the frig it's called, the next one. Um, and then something else. So I'm not sure what this could be. Ooh, it is the second one in the Prison Healer series. It is The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. This is beautiful. Um, so this is the second in the Prison Healer series. I did obviously get the first one in the Feral Loop box. So I wanted to get a matching one. I have not finished the first one. Do not come for me. Um, I'm still halfway through it. I will finish it. This one is signed and underneath the dust jacket. It looks like this. Just takes your breath away, doesn't it? I love it. And we have some artwork too. Ooh, so pretty. I am excited to continue on with this series because I did. I am really enjoying The Prison Healer. I just get in this way where when I put a book down and I struggle to pick it back up again, even if I'm enjoying it, it's just a struggle for me. I don't know why. So this is The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni and I am looking forward to carrying on with this series. Then we have the Owl Crate Junior box, which um, I am a rep for Owl Crate Junior. So if you would like to get a discount with them, you can use my code, which is on the screen. I will leave a link to them in the description box down below along with my code. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy Owl Crate Junior's boxes. They are a book subscription service for middle grade age um, or adults that love to read middle grade like myself. Uh, so for November's theme, we have dragons. This is the spoiler card. It tells you everything that's inside the box. You have an interview with the author. And then there are always some little recommendations and then like a creativity corner and some more community feature stuff. So let's get into this. To start off with, we have a bath bomb. Whipped up, wonderful. Jasmine Tea Dragon Bath Bomb always down for a bath bomb but i feel like this is a little bit of an odd item to have in a middle grade box maybe um i don't know feels a little bit old to me maybe um then we have a cute keychain which looks like this which is adorable and this is the dragon from how to train your dragon i think how is it called how to train your dragon I don't even know these days I just want to say how to train your gavin yeah toothless from how to train your gavin dragon struggles um then we have this box which may have a mug in it i think again maybe an odd item to have in a middle grade box i don't know but it features smaug so it looks like this very pretty design with our crate junior on the bottom 
Then we have a cardboard model kit, a 3D one of a dragon, which is very cute indeed. This is definitely, I would say, middle grade appropriate, maybe. Um, very cute indeed. We have a bookmark, Wings on Fire Scholastic, which uh, is obviously an advertisement for a dragony book. And then we have our book, I think and the card for next month. So the book is The Night Silver Promise by Annalise Avery, which is a really pretty edition of this book. I do have a paperback copy of this because it came in my last Tales by Mailbox, I think, or a Tales by Mailbox previous to that. I'm fairly certain I have a copy of this anyway. So once we break in, we do have a sticker of a book dragon, which is really, really cute. We have a signed book plate and also a dear reader letter as well um and then we have the book which isn't that long to be fair it's uh it's quite small and has a couple illustrations maybe does it have illustrations about the book not necessarily um but it's very cute Ooh, we have some detail underneath nice so on the naked halfback we have this i don't know if you're going to be able to see that but it's essentially the title of the book again imprinted on the hardback and then under the dust jacket we have this which is very pretty indeed one and then for next month's theme we have um secret cities pack a bag we're heading into uncharted lands from oz to narnia and all sorts of places in between we're celebrating some of our favorite secret literary cities december's book is the first in a rip roaring new fantasy adventure series perfect for fans of rick riordan shannon messenger and the pegasus series nice p.s if you're a subscriber already you will just get your new box so um nice I do think some of the items in here were maybe a little bit too old for middle grade, like the mug and the bath bomb. But it does sound like our box, um, our book is like the older age of, older range of middle grade. So 14 year old is the character of the book. So maybe that's why, but yeah. I don't know but again if you're interested in our crate junior i will leave a link to them in the description box down below along with a discount code for you and then we have tales by mail which is another middle grade subscription service one that i actually pay for um i will leave a link to them in the description box down below i leave a link to illum crate and forever loot down below as well i also get a discount code for illum crate which again i will leave a link to down below so tales by hello Tales by Mail, nicely wrapped, feeling very heavy. Uh, the first thing that flew out at me was a pin, which we always get a pin in a Tales by Mail box. The difference between Tales by Mail and Owl Crate Junior is Tales by Mail is bi-monthly, so it's not every single month, it is just every other month, uh, which I kinda like. And what you do on that basis get at least two books, if not more when you get them which is always very lovely so we have a little plaque that says do not disturb i'm on a very exciting reading adventure which is absolutely adorable and i love <laughs> um then we have the spoiler card and also you get then we have a spoiler card so this month's this bi-monthly theme is um on a quest and we also get some uh book review cards with a dear or dear reader letter on the back so you can review your book and then some activity cards as well which is really really cute um and then we have a calendar walker books 2022 calendar which looks like this it is one of those desk calendars oh my goodness adorable um oh this is really really cute i love it so that's really really cute i love that oh bless and then we have a little penguin sticker einstein the penguin cute and then we have our two books so which we regularly will get bookmarks for as well so the first book is The Chime Seekers 
by Ross Montgomery and on the front it says step into a fairy world I haven't heard of this before but this cover is gorgeous I do have a bookmark for the book and also a signed book plate as well which is nice so that's the first book in the Tales by Mail box and then we have Sisters of the Lost Marsh by Lucy Strange um, again, haven't heard of this one. The cover is beautiful. Again, not illustrated, but signed by a book plate and a signed book plate and a um, bookmark as well. So nice. Okay, cool. This has really pretty French flaps as well. Um, so yeah, I am interested in both of those. They sound really good. This is something that I do love about Tales by Mail is that they will send you, you end up with books that you haven't necessarily heard of before. So I do love that, it's great. Um, so yeah, nice little box there. I love the calendar as well. Obsessed with the calendar, just think that's great. Um, so yes, fabulous little box from Tales by Mail. Again, I will leave a link to everybody in the description box down below. Okay, I'm here to finish off this video. I have a couple more boxes to unbox. I have a fairy loot one, a couple books that have come in the meantime that I have opened. Some candles from Becca and the Illumicrate box. So let's go through and show you the books that have come in the meantime that I have opened up. Uh, the first one was Survive the Night by Riley Sager. This was a pre-order from Waterstones. Um, I really wanted to get the paperback copy. I would love to get the hardback copies of all of Riley Sager's books, but I just cannot so i'm collecting the paperbacks instead um this is the latest one from riley sager and on the back it says charlie jordan is being driven across the country by a serial killer maybe behind the wheel is josh baxter a stranger charlie met via the university riding share scheme on the road they share their stories carefully avoiding the subject dominating the news the campus killer responsible for three students murders has just struck again the miles tick by and Charlie begins to notice discrepancies in Josh's stories and why won't he let her see inside the truck. As she begins to plan her escape from the man she is becoming certain is the killer, she starts to suspect that he knows exactly what she's thinking, meaning that she could very well end up being his next victim. A game of cat and mouse is about to play out. In order to win, Charlie must do only one thing, survive the night. It sounds so good. I have heard mixed things about this one, so I am going into it a little bit on the fence uh, but so far i've really enjoyed riley sager's books i think i've given them all four stars so far so i am looking forward to this one and then another pre-order that came in from waterstones was the the excalibur's curse which is the third in the um camelot rising series by kirsten white and this one is following it's a like arthurian retelling um, I can't remember what the first one is like because I haven't read it in so long. The Gwyneth Deception. I read that a couple years ago. I haven't read the second one yet. I have that in hardback and Jade is going to be um, let me have her hardback copy of the Gwyneth Deception. So I've got them all in hardback now, which I'm really excited about. And I'm going to reread the Gwyneth Deception and then continue on with the series. So I'm very excited to do that. And I got the third one from them for that. Then this fairly package can't even remember at this point what I'm still waiting for. Um, I know I'm still waiting for Kingdom of the Cursed. I think that's been dispatched now. So how long that's going to take to get here, I'm not sure. Because it's just before Christmas now. So whether or not it gets here before, I don't know. But we have the Fairy Loot bag. And in here, oh, some pretty gold edges. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I forgot I had gotten this, which is really funny because the last couple of times I've been in Waterstones, I've nearly picked it up. So this is Gilded by Marissa Mayer, which I'm really looking forward to. Look at those end papers. Um, and it is signed it, signed it, signed by Marissa Mayer. And it has gold edges all the way around. It's absolutely beautiful. On the back it says, all magic comes at a price, but what... Lo but love wasn't part of the bargain um there is a bookmark in here as well um so yeah gilded by marissa mayer i don't know what this is about and i don't think there is a synopsis for me to be able to read it out to you so there's that um but yeah i am looking forward to reading this one so i'm very excited about that and then from becca we have some candles that I ordered from her while she had a sale on the other day. Um, I did get 
better than waffles which i haven't had before and i'm fairly certain this one is inspired by six of crows so this one is strawberry peach nectar and vanilla i am gonna love this holy shit balls that's incredible how i haven't already bought that one before i will never know because she restocks it regularly i don't know what's wrong with me and then I did buy a second version of um, Magic School because I really like the scent of this one. It's Marshmallow and Smoky Campfire. And it smells delicious. So I did get a second one of that as well. So those are candles from Becca. And then the Illumicrate unboxing. So I do have a code for you if you would like to get a discount from Illumicrate. I will leave a link to Illumicrate in the description box and along with my discount code if you would like it. Um, December's theme is a cursed and the spoiler card looks like this so um, my battery may die at any moment because it's been flashing at me now for a couple minutes uh, so the first thing is a mug maybe battery did in fact die this says the road through midnight it is a mug it says on the lid exclusive mug let's find out what it looks like oh it's pretty so it looks like this. Get a feeling that this might be Win Tonight Trilogy inspired, but I'm not sure. Yes, inspired by the Win Tonight Trilogy and has been designed by Rosie Thorns 88. Uh, very, very pretty indeed. I'm getting good with my fandoms now. I'm proud of myself. Good job, Steph. Okay, then we have, yes, a new pin flag. So, it looks like this. Ooh, that's really pretty. Is that a peacock? Very nice. Very pretty indeed. This is Firebird Pin Banner, designed by Abigail Spence, and it's inspired by Girl Serpent Thorn. Um, so very, very pretty indeed. Gorgeous design. I love the colors very nice then we have a little tin that says i want to survive this world that keeps trying to destroy me and it's officially licensed ninth house bookmark tin featuring one of our favorite quotes from the book and it's designed by chatty nora very pretty indeed oh so i see you can put your bookmarks in it very nice nice storage i never thought about that before when we've had those tins previously that's a good shout then we have some nevermore stickers which are absolutely adorable i love nevermore by jessica townsend these are so pretty i love them a lot and we have a star cross lovers 2022 calendar with artwork from salties and frostbite studio so it looks like this and your pictures look like this your calendar underneath I don't know if it tells you oh it does red white and royal blue by casey mcquiston the invisible life of Addie larue by v schwab girls of paper and fire by natasha young that's gorgeous the raven boys by maggie steve Arter. priory of the orange tree by samantha shannon the poppy war by ara kwong an ember in the ashes by sabah tahir daughter of smoke and bone by laney taylor cemetery boys by aiden thomas gideon the ninth by tamzin muir and the night circus by aaron morganstone very nice indeed and that's the last page so nice cute little calendar there then we have a pin inspired by the book which is gorgeous i think this might be our last pin as well which is big sad because i love the pins to be fair i really do and then we have the book itself which is beautiful it's a marvelous light by Freya mask and this is stunning with incredibly beautiful sprayed edges um and also the other thing about this is that it's the book design underneath is this so it looks like this all the way around and even on the sprayed edges but this is see-through you see so now you see how this works very unique very pretty i like it a lot very nice um this is signed 
by the author as well. And the synopsis for this says, young baronet Robin Blythe was already in a spot of bother. He's struggling to be a decent older brother and responsible employer and to rescue the estate ravaged by his late parents' excesses. Then an administrative mistake appoints him parliamentary liaison to a secret society and he discovers magic lies beneath the reality he's always known. Soon, Robin must contend with magic's danger as well as its beauty for as he tries to find his missing predecessor, he attracts a deadly curse. To navigate these haz hazards, he'll need the help of Edwin Cursey, his prickly magical society counterpart, but his aloof associate clearly wishes Robin were anyone and anywhere else. Drawn together by unexpected perils, Robin and Edwin will discover a mystery as old as the power that, blind, that binds the land, a plot that threatens every magician in British Isles, and a secret that will have or that some have already died to keep. It sounds wonderful. I am terrified that this is has got flowery writing. <laughs> terrified. Uh, because we all know I really dislike flowery writing, but um, it is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful edition of the book. Um, so yes, an incredibly beautiful edition of A Marvelous Light. So nice box, Illumicrate. Like I say, there will be a link to Illumicrate in the description box down below if you would like to have a butcher's with my discount code. So do go check them out if you would like to do so. Okay, hello, it is me. Next day, same jumper, different colour. Um, I am here to do the Ferrolute unboxing. This just came today, absolutely typical. <laughs> but this just came today, so I'm here to give you a Ferrolute unboxing. Um, and then this will be the last unboxing for this video. I will then be editing it and uploading it ready to go. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Um, I'm fairly certain this is, yes, it is December's and the theme for this month is Dance With Death and this is the spoiler card for it. It's very pretty. I do wonder if this is Addy mostly inspired, I'm not sure, but let's get into what's going on in here. So we have the law keychain that was not in our last box, it was missing from our last box. Um, so this isn't for this box, it's for the last box just double checking that on the spoiler card but yes that is the case um this is actually really pretty it is in the shape of a feather and it looks like so and i think there's an inscription on the feather it says bind your fate to mine Ooh, nice I like it, you know, I actually like it. I haven't read Law and I don't have any intentions of doing so, but I really like that keychain, that's really nice. Um, then going into this actual box then, we have a Nazir's tattoo. Um, so we have an iron on patch and this is from We Hunt the Flame. Oh, it's pretty. Very nice. Haven't read We Hunt the Flame. Uh, but I have heard good things, so there's that. Then we have this little pouch that has Jack's dagger letter opener. I'm going to assume, will this be from Stalking Jack the Ripper or not? Oh, Once Upon a Broken Heart, of course. Oh, it's pretty, very pointy. This is beautiful. It's got like gems in it and stuff. This is very, very pretty. I like it a lot. Very nice. I do love these things like replica daggers and stuff like that. I do love them. I do kind of wish we would get them more often. I imagine they're not cheap to, um, uh, you know, to make, but uh, I do wish we could get them a little bit more often because they are nice. I like them a lot. Then we have a book sleeve. Um, these Violent Delights, I'm going to assume. That took me a hot minute because it says TVD and my mind immediately went the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Um, but this is the book sleeve, which is very, very pretty indeed. And yeah, it's really pretty, nice quality. It's got a zip on it, big size. Ooh, nice inside as well. I like it, very nice indeed. Um, what else do we have? We have the book in its pouch and then we've got some stuff underneath. So let's do the stuff underneath first. Oh, we have an extra book in here. I totally forgot we were getting the second book. 
nice we have a set of bookmarks which are really really pretty Ooh, is this a new collection that they're doing are we getting to an end with our tarot cards um these are really pretty so the bookmarks say we're thrilled to introduce a new collectible series of mythology foil bookmarks the first installment features hades and persephone nice so this is what the bookmarks look like they are very very pretty indeed and on the back they look like this you can never have too many bookmarks i don't think um and then we do have our tarot cards for this month these are stunning nine and ten of pentacles and they feature eo and victra from the red rising series by pierce brown um very very pretty indeed very nice and then our extra book is the coldest touch by isabel sterling i am really looking forward to trying this one out i'm fairly certain isabel sterling is the author of does not tell me um the author of yes these witches don't burn and this coven won't break i loved these witches don't burn i haven't read this coven won't break yet but i really want to so i am highly anticipating this one um, and it's got a bit of a digital signature in there as well so really looking forward to this one um i'm hyped on the back it says elise is cursed every time she touches someone she experiences how they will die and when she predicts but is unable to prevent her brother's death elise is de desperate to escape her terrible gift then she meets claire a vampire tasked with helping elise master her rare powers and re recruiting her to the veil a secret organization determined to protect the paranormal world at all costs at first elise is reluctant to work with a vampire but when she predicts a teacher's imminent murder she's determined to stop the violent death as elise and claire grow closer elise begins to wonder can she really trust someone tasked with securing her loyalty someone who could easily kill her someone who might hold the key to unraveling her brother's mysterious death from the author of these witches don't burn comes a paranormal romance for fans of richelle mead and stephanie mayer i am here for this i am so down for um you know powers like touching someone and having these experiences but also like a vampire as well i this is queer obviously as well so um i am here for this the coldest touch when does it come out officially because i'm fairly certain we've got this early nope i'm lying we've not got this early it came out on the 9th of december it is a new release though um so that is the first book in here and then we also have the matching bookmark that we always get every single month and we have a dear fairly reader letter this is stunning and the fairy scoop which i'll go through in a second and then finally oh this is pretty this is the year of the reaper by makaya lucia this is stunning oh my goodness this is beautiful it's got black sprayed edges a signed book plate oh nice and under the dust jacket we're matchy matchy on the um dear reader lot card which is really nice touch i like that a lot with the spine looking like this and underneath the dust jacket we have this he likes to hold that whatever that is um but yeah that's really pretty holy crap um haven't i've seen a few reviews but i haven't heard anything about this don't know anything about it so let's find out together what it's about three years ago lord cassia disappeared into the midst of of, of war on a mission entrusted to him by the king since then a devastating plague has swept the lands leaving countless dead and the kingdom forever altered having survived a rotting prison cell and a merciless illness Cass, now 18 wants only to return to his home in the mountains and forget his past horrors but home is not what he remembers his castle has become a refuge for the royal court and they have brought their enemies with them when an assassin targets those closest to the queen Cass is drawn into a search for a killer one that leads him to form an unexpected bond with a brilliant young historian named lena Cass and Lena soon realise that who is behind the ta ta attacks is far less important than why. They must look at the past, following the trail of terrible secret, one that could threaten the kingdom's newfound peace and plunge it back into war. Sounds really interesting. It's not that long either. Uh, 
320 odd pages so it's not that long this is really pretty i wouldn't mind picking this up soon actually I love the magic Lucia weaves through the dark yet hopeful tale. I devoured this in one sitting, Kristen Cashaw. I love it. Pretty excitement. And then the fairy scoop has an interview with the author. Um, we have some exciting January recommendation releases as well. Uh, Year of the Reaper read along will start on the 24th of January. If I haven't read it by then, I think I'm going to join in on that, but I kind of really want to read it. Um, and then on the other side, January's theme is Monsters Within. We're excited to reveal the January theme for our monthly box and it is Monsters Within. Monsters are real and they live inside us. But whether you keep that monster locked within or whether you unleash, it's enti it unleash it entirely is up to you. The box is all about characters that have a dark side hidden beneath the surface and what happens when they let it loose. You can expect items inspired by the last hours. These hollow vows, Scythe, this savage song and our featured book of the month. The book will feature our next collectible trinket dish as well as so many other beautiful goodies. Our featured book of the month is why a YA contemporary fantasy set in London filled with monsters with hidden powers, monster families with cruel legacies, magical underworlds and swoon-worthy romance. It will, have exclusive, it will be an exclusive edition with an exclusive cover, two coloured stencil sprayed edges, artwork on the papers, uh, foil embossing on the card cover and as usual will come with a letter from the author. Um, if you have an act active subscription, you can sit back and relax because it will just renew automatically. Uh, so yeah, that was a really nice box to send the year off with a bang. Um, I'm really happy and excited about that. So yeah, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I've no doubt that's not the right book. I've no doubt it will be a long one trying to put the um, Dear Reader letter in, in here. Um, I've no doubt this will be a reasonably long video with all the unboxings that I've done. I honestly can't even remember. I know I did some yesterday, but I did some the other week as well. So can't really remember what I've unboxed so far. So it will be interesting to watch this back as I'm editing. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got any of these books slash boxes. Um, I'm interested to know what your thoughts were on any of them. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.